Cyclone Fanny continues to draw ever nearer to the coast of eastern India this evening and is now a Category 5 storm on the Sapper Simpson scale with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure around 920 millibars. That's roughly 255 kilometers per hour sustained winds. The CDPS scale looks like this, you can see it right now, the potential for the wind and rain puts it at a stage 7 on the CDPS scale, that means catastrophic conditions likely when and if the storm strikes land in the next 24 to 48 hours, probably sooner than that now. There it is right now, only about 68 miles offshore, 17.7 degrees north, 84.8 degrees east, still intensifying at the time of this update. 72 miles from Shrikakulam, 111 miles from Brahmapur, 204 from Puttak, 409 from Kolkata and 556 from Dhaka. So needless to say the yellow areas here are where tropical storm conditions could occur and probably much worse for many of those regions along the border between Andhra Pradesh and Odisha in eastern India. Uh, if it does indeed make landfall uh, near this intensity it would be completely devastating conditions near the landfall zone. We expect that landfall will occur maybe early on Friday now um, and uh, the way the storm's going at the minute we're expecting a bit more of an eastward turn but at the minute it's still going due north so uh, if it does continue to go straight ahead north then landfall will occur sooner than we expect. So we're now looking probably earlier on on Friday uh, rather than later on like we thought maybe yesterday or the day before. So it's drawing closer and it could still accelerate further than we expect at the minute too. Uh, sea surface temperatures are very warm right now, 30 degrees, maybe even slightly more than that. Um, the storm still has ample room for maybe a little bit more intensification before it does strike land and then it would be uh, bidding for possibly being one of the strongest landfalls in this region. Um, if it did do that. Of course, if it did slow down by any chance or stayed just off the coast, then it could weaken substantially before it actually does make landfall. That's what the JTWC were expecting a few days ago. Uh, they're not really expecting too much weakening before landfall now. Uh, not too much to say about its projected track really. Um, pretty straightforward, into land, skirting the coast perhaps, moving into Bangladesh, possibly still as a tropical storm by then, and it will dump huge amounts of rain too. Uh, not quite as much as we were initially expecting, but still we could be looking at about 400mm of rain for some areas here in eastern India. 80% chance of tropical storm force winds in Visakhapatnam, which the storm is bypassing right now. Uh, pretty much certain chances for Shrikakulam and Kutak because those two areas are going to be right near the centre of the storm, certainly under the bulk of the storm's significant rain and wind. Uh, the models, really not too much to talk about at this point. The storm's doing whatever it's doing right now with that intensification phase. The landfall is drawing ever nearer. A storm can't intensify after it makes landfall typically, and so we all expect significant substantial weakening after that. But the closer it stays to those warmer waters after a landfall, the longer it will take to weaken. That's why we're watching very closely the precise direction that this storm takes. At the minute, moving further north than we're expecting just now. You can see on the satellite imagery there, it is moving straight up rather than a little bit towards the east. Um, but if that does continue, landfall will occur much sooner than thought. This is a six hour loop, so maybe around 18 hours from now if it didn't speed up, and that'll be less than that, of course, if it did move a little bit more quickly. Looking at the storm itself, the eye has come out in those latest frames. Eye temperature now up to around 19 Celsius above freezing. For those who don't know, that is very warm indeed. We'll keep you up to date on this storm. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>